yeah, just came out of Love's. And, you know, oh, what is that? There's toothpaste. Ooh. Oh, yeah, guys, and Jimmy had toothpaste on my face. <laughs> but, um, I truly and really hate it when, just because you see, it can be two black people in the store. One could be on one end of the store, and one could be on the other end of the store. Hey, baby. Hey, puppy. <laughs> It's a dog in the window. Ugh. But two black people can be on the opposite end of the store. And for some reason, the people in the store, the white people in the store, automatically think you're together. Because it's like we all travel together in packs, like wolves or something. Okay, I'm at one register. There's a black guy at another register. He was like, are you two together? What was even the purpose of that conversation? What was even the purpose of that question, sir? Why do you automatically assume, because you see two black people, why he can't be with the white lady right there? Why he can't be with the white dude right there? Why you got to go all the way to another register and ask him, was he with me? And if we were together, what difference do it make? He paying for his food. I'm getting my stuff. You know, I just don't get it. Y'all need to stop that. When we see two white people, one in line in one line and one in the other line, I do not ask the question, are you two together? And if they are, it's none of my business if they're together or not. Are they getting a together discount? I don't know. <sighs> that ticked me off. And I told him off too. Yep, I seriously told him off. Told him, don't do that. That's some ignorant stuff to automatically assume. Because you see two black people in the same store in the same place. And we automatically, we together. Nice looking brother. But we ain't together. So, stop that. Now I'm on my way to drop this load. Oh. Which I could have dropped last night, but I'm mistaken the time for 12 p.m. and not 12 a.m. But it did say 11.59 p.m. They had three times. And I messed up by looking, I guess, at the middle time. And I could have been there last night. But I have all day until... To drop the load so I'm gonna take it now hopefully I'll get something else and huh, it's just been a rough week but you keep on pushing on you don't give up you don't give up my gray hair it's not like my hair can get any grayer right <laughs> but no you don't give up you know and I need to work out today. It is so cold out here. It would have been great to... I should have went for a walk early this morning. In the yard. Yeah. So, that's okay. I'm going to exercise today. I just don't know when. And I might just exercise in the sleeper again. But I try to exercise every day. Hopefully, one day I can get home and I get my weights. Because I right now I can't afford to buy any. any. So, I have weights at home. So, I'm going to get my weights from home. And I got to start building muscle to lose more weight because I don't want to have any sagging, you know, during this weight loss process, you know. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And more writing. I'll be coming to you with more writing. In fact, hopefully I can get home. I might have it on my computer. I might, on my, um, I might have some writing to read to you guys that I did in class when I was uh, taking English 101 so I may entertain you with that so but guys check out my videos you know check out my videos I'm making jewelry I had a jewelry class I did pottery check out that video Just start checking out my video guys 
of all the things that I uh, that I've done, and I will continue to do things. Um, and I can do things in truck life. So when I can get a better truck life than this one, there's one thing about it: when you have a CDL license and you are accident free, knock on wood. Hope I can remain that way. <laughs> you can pretty much write your own paycheck and go where you want to go but you have to put in the time you have to at least get three months under the over the road three months to a year three months six months a year a year is really good over the road at a company before you can really branch out and um you know move up the ranks and make more money that's right now maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys Nice talking to you. On my way to drop the load. I'm doing it. You can do it too. Angie's doing it. Bye-bye.